Hello, my name is Julie White. I'm an Evolve 365 learning strategist at Planet Technologies. In this tips and tricks session, we'll be discussing the Windows clipboard and how this simple to use built-in feature can help you save time with the everyday task of copying and pasting. The Windows clipboard history allows you to access items you may have copied previously. So maybe you've copied and pasted something and you're looking for that URL that you copied a little bit before, maybe three copies ago. Well, if you hit the Windows key and V, the clipboard history opens up for you. Now you'll be able to see the history of items that you've copied in the past. This is really great as well if you wanted to copy multiple items and then be able to paste them in your destination. Maybe that's a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation, but it's very helpful to be able to access these copied items so that you don't have to find the source destination uh, over and over again. If this is the first time you're using the clipboard, it will actually offer you the chance to turn it on if it isn't already active. But if you'd like to turn it on or be sure that it's on, you can click the Windows key, the Start button, go to your Settings, System, and scroll down to Clipboard. Here you'll be able to turn on the clipboard history. Then when you click the Windows key and V, that'll pop up for you. You'll be able to paste from it, and you can also pin items that you might use often. So if there's an image, a URL, or even a block of text that you use often or paste often, you can actually pin it in your clipboard history. To pin an item, you just click on the ellipses, and then you get some options. Nothing too fancy, delete the item, pin the item, or clear all. Let's take a look at this in action. If I open this Word document that I have here, I just have some random text. But if I wanted to paste an item in my clipboard, I can select the place I would like it to be, click the Windows key, V, and it'll pop up for me. And now maybe I want to put this image in here. I can put that in there and now it's in here so that I can just manipulate it if I want to. Um, but what's really nice is that I didn't have to go find that image. It was already in my clipboard history. Maybe I wanted to put another block of text, um, something that maybe I grabbed from a source location where the formatting was a little bit different. This is where the copy paste option comes in handy. Um, if I wanted to grab some text from a website or maybe a PowerPoint presentation, there is a little trick to the control C, control V options. Instead of just simply pasting the source material into your document, if I right click here, I get paste options that allow me to either keep the source formatting or change it to the formatting of the current document I'm working in. So if I do that, I've eliminated a step of having to format that text that I've copied and pasted. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.